All right, Chris, have at it. Ready? Have at it. <laughs> Hit it a few more times. It just laughs at you. It says, no, man. That's the deepest one you made right there. That's about three quarters of an inch. Because yeah. you, you hit the soft stuff there. That's a six inch wall. That's six inches thick. Six inches thick. Yep. And I swing a 12 pound sledgehammer. I weigh 230 pounds and I put half an <laughs> inch of dent in it. <laughs> tough enough, huh? Definitely tough enough. It's time to see what a sledgehammer will or will not do to this sample. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, wow. That was straight up. I hit that as hard as I could with an eight pound sledgehammer and I just made a dent. Wow. Holy guacamole. I'm going to hit it again and see what happens. I'm telling you people, I swung as hard as I could just now. You felt the ground shake? Yeah. Meteorites. And just so you know, I'm not being light-handed. I'm going to let my buddy here swing away with the sledgehammer himself. Okay, Greg, give it a swing. Yeah, buddy. That's pretty impressive, I must say. Another divot. This is a big eight pound sludge hammer. And uh, nothing's happening here. There's a lot more powder there. Whole lot more powder. So we'll find out if uh, if those three blocks can stop 15 rounds here. Oh man, that looked a little blurry, but oh well. The first two bricks stopped it. Stopped every round. So that would lead me to believe if you made 10 inch thick walls out of this stuff and let it fully cure, these are not fully cured blocks yet. If you let it fully cure, I believe they would be bulletproof.